Hello guys, welcome back to Gamebook. Today me and Alex are going to do a Gamersubs tier list. But this one is very updated because I think the last one I made was 2021. Yeah, it was a while ago. Yeah, it was a while ago. For those guys who don't know, we are Gamebook, Europe's biggest resellers of energy formulas such as Gamersubs, G Fuel and other brands. So me and Alex have reviewed a lot of the gamer subs flavors, if not all. All but three or something like that. Yeah. So we have a lot of opinions on uh, gamer subs. So we thought we would make this tier list an updated version, so to say. This is a guide for anyone that is looking to buy gamer subs. First, we'll agree with one of us regarding some flavors or like both of us. And uh, hopefully we can guide you to your next favorite flavor. Here we have it, the updated list containing every flavor. I think there's one, perhaps two flavors that are not on here because I couldn't remember them because they were super limited or something. We have from S, A, B, C, D, F and haven't tried yet. Just simple. We're starting off with Acai Blueberry. This one is a very mild flavor in my opinion. It's not like a very hard hitting blueberry flavor and I think that it's... I think Blue Rest accomplishes the same thing almost but in a slightly better Way. So I would say that this one for me is like a middle flavor. Uh, this is very much a seeth here. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's good, but there's nothing outstanding about it. And I love blueberry flavors. Like I've, I've said in some other videos, uh, Red Bull Blueberry is my favorite like any drink flavor of all time almost. And uh, I wish the blueberry flavor was a bit more like that. But it's not, so yeah, I think it's a very mid flavor. It's not something I would personally pick to drink, so to say. Yeah, but yeah, I agree. mid. It's not bad. Blue Ras, uh, uh, also known as Blue nowadays. I would say it's appropriate to give it the B. But I also think the B is like where it belongs. Because it's better than Akai, but I wouldn't see it like being among the top two tiers, in my opinion. I think at the end of this video, it'll probably be at the bottom of B tier. But we'll have to start filling out B tier soon, so we'll start with that right now. It's a good flavor, uh, I could see myself getting it as well. And it's better than blueberry, but uh, there's a lot of other flavors that's better than it. So, up next we have... Citrus lemonade. lemonade. Citrus lemonade. Lemonade comes later in the video, so we'll talk about that one as well. This one is discontinued. This flavor is worse than the lemonade one. Yeah. So it's not like yeah. disgusting, but it's definitely a D tier. I agree. It's like, it's not bad, but it's not something I would seek out. It's just sweet, which is not what I'm looking for in a lemonade flavor. I want something slightly bitter, slightly tangy, with sweetness, of course. Uh, perhaps a bit of a sourness, but that's, uh, that's usually not something that you get with a lemonade. And this one is just overall rather sweet and quite dull, in my opinion. Yeah. So yeah, D tier for me. Now we have dragon fruit. This one I've always used as a template when it comes to sweetness because in my opinion, this is the sweetest flavors that gamers have. And yeah. I think it's too sweet and I don't like it. I, I, I would put it in B tier because it's like, it's sweet and it has a quite good taste. It tastes almost like Skittles, but uh, Sometimes I perhaps crave it. I would not put it like the top two tiers, in my opinion, at least. So I couldn't put it further than C. Or either top, yeah, I can put it top C. Me, personally, I would rather pick blueberry, but um, you put it at B, so uh, it has to be C tier. Because just like most often, I get more in a mood for dragon fruit punch than Akai blueberry. I've never like, oh, I really want to have some Akai blueberry right now. Acai blueberry. Acai. Yeah, I know. Azai. Azai. But here we go with the absolute banger. Emotional damage. This is strawberry peach. Yeah, peach and strawberry. And hear me out, I'm quite literally very bored. I'm bored to death of gamer subs and strawberry flavors. I love strawberries, real strawberries. Strawberry as a flavoring in drinks is very boring. It's not like the real thing in my opinion. So I've, yeah. I've gotten quite bored of it, but the peach flavor adds something. So it's got the very sweetness of the peach, which is a more of a milder. The, the aftertaste is more of a peachy flavor, which I think adds to the flavor. I, I would, would say B tier. It's not higher than that. I would be. I would say top of B tier. Yeah, top of Def B tier. Definitely above blue rest, but I think there's gonna come a lot of flavors that are above. Come on. So there we go. So oh. emotional damage at B tier. Now. 
We have guacamole game of fart. This is the introduction flavor, so to say. Yeah, guacamole game of fart is the second most sold right now, and uh, it's strawberry, strawberry lime, strawberry lime. Yeah, strawberry lime, and this one is one flavor I highly recommend for any like noobs. Yeah, because it tastes almost like popsicles, almost like ice popsicles. Yeah, it's a very easy flavor to get into because it's lime and strawberry, two very good flavors uh, mixed together, in my opinion. Yeah. And uh, yeah, the, I think this was the first Gamer Subs flavor that we did a review on. I'm not entirely for sure. Uh, let I'll, us know in the comments. Let us know in the comments. Also, it's I think it's the one flavor that I tried, which got me hooked on Gamer Subs the first time. So, and I would also like to claim that that flavor is what really made Gamer Subs explode in popularity. Because not only is it a good flavor, it was a great collaboration with um, Russian Badger as well. The design was unique, which was new at the time as well. S tier. I would say it belongs in the S tier. It's a good flavor, I come back to it. I've had it for quite some time now, so I don't drink it as often because I, I've gotten slightly bored of it. But overall, the flavor is very good. It's the one flavor I introduced new uh, friends to when they want to try it. And they always said that they like it. So yeah, goated. This one, F tier. Gu guilty tea pleasure. <laughs> Lex and Felix both like uh, guilty tea. But if I say S tier uh, or F tier and you say S tier, shouldn't we put it? Uh, I would say like middle of B tier. So I would put it like between blue rust. <sighs> so there's the thing about doing uh, a tier list with two people. We have clashing uh, opinions sometimes. This is one of, if not my favorite flavor of all time when it comes to gamer subs. And Alex hates it. So, <laughs> so I'm gonna say the reasons why I don't like it. Because maybe someone is in the same like position as me when it comes to this flavor. But uh, it has like a black tea flavor to it almost. If I want to drink like a tea thing, I would more likely drink the actual tea than in this form. I don't like the clashing between the tea and the sweetness that much. I, I find it just like weird. Whenever I drink these drinks, I want something sweet or like something delicious, like a soft drink. In my opinion, that's more like a herbal thing and uh, I would most likely prefer it hot also. Yeah, uh, this guy is the king of yapping. Uh, in my opinion, it doesn't this taste... Says you. <laughs> it it's not, doesn't even taste like tea overall. I hate black tea and I love this flavor. I enjoy iced tea, like sweetened iced tea, like, uh, like Lipton and all that. And I think that's more reminiscent of that flavor added with a passion fruit flavor, which I think is underused in a lot of brands. For that regard, I would say overall just the flavor puts it at S tier. I don't think this would be good hot either. It's too sweet. I don't know. It's just weird in my opinion. But uh, yeah, we're pretty like split between that flavor in, yeah. in the office. Yeah, so for now we'll uh, I'll, we put our differences aside and uh, we'll have to put it somewhere on the median there and put it at B. I would put it at the S, Alex would put it at the F. So there you go. Up next we have, is that Mango, Mango Meta. Meta? Mango Meta. So... I think that was actually one of the first flavors I tried. Because at the start we only had samples. And I think I had a sample of that one. But that was like... Like the first introduction for GG being like Mango Meta is pretty odd in a, in a certain way. Because it's a really strong flavor. So I wasn't like used to it being that strong when I've had like other like milder flavors uh, from other brands. But it's a really good mango flavor, especially the new and improved one. Uh, they really like increase the authenticity of the mango flavor. So I would probably put this one at maybe top of B or lower A, somewhere between that, those parts. Yeah, this was one of the last ori like original basic flavors that I tried. Non-collaborative flavors, you could almost say. I always thought that the mango flavor of that one is a bit weird. I've said in multiple videos now that mango flavor is something that most brands get wrong. Some get it all, all right, but most of the time their mango flavor tastes more like pineapple. I think they changed the yeah. flavor, they made a new flavor, yeah, like and that said. one was much better than the first. Then it like jumped up to like, I would say B tier perhaps. I would say maybe. top of B, like maybe below uh, emotional damage. 
like between emotional and yeah i would rather pick emotional damage i'm pretty sure and i would definitely pick chaos but you know so b tier there it is up next we have misfits melon this is honeydew melon flavor yeah i think that's one that's a d tier in my opinion yeah, yeah i agree you could just like put it at I, I think it's above lemonade in my opinion because it works a little bit better with yeah milk. it's a it's a it's it tastes good with milk so it's there's something plus to it i guess it's a very weak flavor uh i'm not a big fan of honeydew melon either so yeah d tier yeah but uh if you like honeydew melon then maybe that's the flavor for you moving on we have pina colada getting caught in the rain this is one of the cool ones flavors which i had uh, may still have but uh, yeah, this is supposed to be pineapple and coconut. Pineapple, coconut mostly. Pina colada have rum and other f uh, things added to it. This one is mostly coconut and pineapple. I'll be honest with you, I don't have a super strong memory of it. But Me neither. Yeah, but I I did like make a comparison with Blowhole Blast and Pina colada once. And I realized that there's not a huge difference. Uh, the lime and the mango from Blowhole Blast is a bit, uh, changing it up a bit. So it's like a lesser version of Blowhole Blast. Yeah, I think that uh, the next flavor which is coming up soon is, which is pine uh, pineapple cocktail, is uh, a little bit like better in my opinion. But yeah. uh, pina colada still has some redeeming qualities. Like, it's not a bad flavor, it's just like... If you mix it with milk, it's surprisingly good. But it's overall, it's very coconut heavy, and I know that a lot of people have a problem with that. I enjoy coconut to a degree. I like it as an additive of a flavor, like a bonus, so to say. I would say that this right here, it sort of slightly overtakes it a bit. So, as I think it's a worse version of Blowhole Blast. I would still give it like a C tier. Yeah, but it's, yeah, it's a C tier. And I would probably put it at the top yeah. of C tier. This one is pineapple cocktail, and uh, this one is mostly just like pineapple. I find that this one is really authentic to the real fruit of pineapple. And I like pineapple, so I would probably give this one uh, between a B and an A tier, just because it's really authentic and you can't get more close to the fruit. Yeah, I would probably, I think A tier is very yeah. lonely, so we'll put pineapple cocktail here. It's very good. I did try it once, like back in the day, and I think I said something, uh, so I didn't like it. But then I had it like recently, and I realized, oh, it's very, very good and tastes very much like pineapple. So yeah, my opinion has changed about it, so I think it's an A tier. Uh, next one is one of the flavors, and another flavor from Cold Ones. This is strawberry daiquiri. This used to be my favorite. I've changed a little bit since then, but I still really, really like it, especially with milk. This one is a banger with milk. Yeah, so this one, I think, here's the thing. They, back in the old days, I'm talking like <laughs> I, they were made in like 1899. Back, back in the old, old days. days. But yeah, uh, Gamers Apps used to have a flavor called Strawberry Burst, which was supposed to be a more of a strawberry candy type of flavor. They had a strawberry one and they had a strawberry burst one. In me, my opinion, there wasn't a heavy like difference between them. I think the uh, strawberry burst one was a bit more sweet with a sort of chemical candy marshmallow aftertaste perhaps. And I think they just changed the labeling on that one and made it into strawberry... Uh, Daiquiri. Daiquiri, yeah. Maybe they... Maybe changed some parts of it. Yeah, maybe they improved it like mango or something. Yeah. But... Uh, in my opinion, this one is an A tier with water, maybe B tier with water, and an S tier with milk. I would probably put this top of A, just because it's like, with water it's not quite as good, and with milk it's really great, so split the difference and you get like maybe an A tier, top of A. I would put it at like B tier. For, for me, it's a worse, worse version of uh, emotional damage. But have you taken into account the milk version? Yeah, but how often do you mix it with milk? That's the thing, though. It's not. You can add milk. some milk. You can add MCT. I haven't tried emotional damage with milk, and I bet it would be even better. So, Alright, yeah. put put it at the same as emotional damage. Yeah, I, I'll put it here. Yeah, it's good because both of them, I think, is slightly better with milk uh, or MCT if you prefer that. Yeah, I'm more of a I'm more of a fan of combination flavors where they add more than one flavor. Which is why it's very rare for like pineapple cocktail to be up there with this because it's just a pineapple flavor, but it's a very, very good singular flavor flavor. 
flavor, 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 <laughs> flavor, flavor. The Japper. Yeah. I'm 100% fluent in Japanese. Yeah, Japanese. and here's one of these weird ass flavors that I have some opinions on when it comes to gamers ups, and it's titty milk. Titty milk is supposed to taste like raspberry. They claim that it's supposed to have a desserty kind of aftertaste, so say like raspberry cream, uh, which is very funny when we'll come to a future flavor that we'll talk about. I would I describe this flavor as raspberry and milk, so like raspberry yogurt, but it doesn't taste like raspberry yogurt until you add actual milk to it. But this is supposed to be blue rasp with milk. I think blue rasp is raspberry, that's the thing. Fun fact, blue raspberry is not a real berry. It's uh, like made in a lab, so yeah. But I, I think shattered dreams. Yeah, because uh, Grandpa's Ashes is the raspberry with milk, and no, this no, is raspberry the... cream. Yeah, cream milk, whatever. Yeah, yeah. and same. this one is ra and this one is blue raspberry yeah. milk. Yeah, so this is blue rasp, not regular raspberry, and this tastes like blue raspberry, but a slightly like a little bit more desserty blue rasp. In my opinion, I think they went ham on the design and the coloring of the drink, but they sort of lost the ball when it came to the flavors. I think they could have done way more there. It would fit better as a, like sort of a dessert flavor, yeah. like they did with the apple pie one. All in all, I would was very disappointed with that flavor. So I would say it's, it's a D tier, in my opinion. But, but not flavor-wise, in my opinion, because flavor-wise, in my opinion, it's like a okay, low... It, Maybe above yeah. raspberry. It's I around say. those parts. It tastes like blue rasp. It tastes. It, there's not a big difference between the blue raspberry, uh, blue one, and uh, this one. So it's, they're on the same level almost. Yeah. But yeah, just by how disappointed I got by it, I would put it D. But D for disappointment. Yeah. It, actually, fun fact. I think I watched a a J Schlatt video, and he said he wanted the flavor to uh, be named Come. That's the reason why the uh, f uh, color is like this uh, whitish color. Semen color, as we call it, yeah. But uh, I think that Gamersops maybe had a problem with the name or like... Some... Legal issues, perhaps, yeah. I don't know, maybe it's too weird to name a flavor that. And uh, so yeah, Titty Milk. Came out of it instead. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's it's a pretty good name for those that uh, like that kind of saucy flavor names. Yeah. But here we go with an absolute banger. We have waifu candy, which is now discontinued for a reason. I, I've heard that they're gonna bring it back, but yeah, it's a F tier. Yeah, it's F tier. It's here's the thing. There's people out there that absolutely love it and would claim to this day that it's their favorite flavor. And I've tried it both with water and with milk. And with milk, it's actually pretty good because it has this sort of vanilla sugary flavor that works well with milk because it tastes like a milkshake, hands down. With water, it's absolutely disgusting. I think Alex has a, he's sort of been brainwashed by the flavor because he mixed it with... Cat food. Yeah, with cat food. Long story short, he lost, but, a, uh, lost a bit or something. But like before, before I tried it like during a stream with cat food, I actually like took one sip of the flavor and then just threw it out because I just find it tastes like you add sugar to water and then you add like some chemical flavor. It's not like it's not some kind of strawberry or anything. It's just like chemical sugar. Flavor. I would say like this. If you've ever tried like vanilla sugar, if you take a scoop of vanilla sugar and put it on your tongue, it smells good. And in small, small bits and pieces, it tastes good as well. But in larger amounts, it just becomes too sweet and unhinged. And that's what and I think. Chemically. Yeah, and chemically. And chemically. I think I think that's where waifu candy lands. Like it works with milk to to a sort of degree. But hopefully they can improve it. Yeah, so hopefully they can improve it if they bring it back, sorta. Of. But uh, yeah, that version was horrendous in my opinion. So now next one we actually have Bigfoot juice. I haven't tried. We haven't tried that one because uh. it was a like a um, event exclusive flavor. We tried to get our hands on it, but yeah, that fell through the gaps, so to say. So uh, sad, I don't think they will bring it back either. So that one we'll just have to live with. This is gonna be, the next flavor here is black cherry. This is probably gonna end up in the same situation as Chaos Guilty Pleasure. Yeah. I find it really good. Felix, maybe not that much. Felix doesn't really like uh, cherry that much. I will not be as mean as you were when it came to Kaho and put it in F. I will actually put it like in C. So, and we're gonna split the difference, I assume. So, would you like to put it? Let's you, put it. Do you 
really think it's an S tier. Yeah, because I really like Dr. Pepper. Okay, so Actually, then let's put it in B tier, I guess. Top of B. Top of B, because that's around the middle. All right, so we have uh, black cherry. <laughs> I, I like. Okay, I, I don't have a problem with cherries. I don't eat regular cherries when it comes to the fruit. And with the, when it comes to like chemical lab made or drink cherry flavors, um, I'm not a big of a fan. I always think that it tastes like marzipan almost. And I just think that it's got a weird aftertaste to it. And uh, yeah, I'm not a huge fan of it. I can enjoy it as a like additive to a mix of flavors. But uh, yeah, on its own, not very good in my opinion. But yeah, here's where it gets weird because we have sherry lime circle. This one is actually like, if I would put black sherry on the bottom of S tier, I would put sherry lime circle at the top of S tier. Yeah. So this is like, it's better than black sherry. But that is your favorite flavor, right? Yeah, this is, I'm just gonna browse through these really quick. Yeah, it's my favorite flavor because yeah. this one is, it tastes like Haribo uh, sherry candies, but the sour version and those are like really nostalgic. I could probably finish a whole top of this like in a month. He says it's absolute top tier of S tier. I would probably put it at B, so I'll put it at A. Yeah, top of A. Okay, top of A, I guess. I did drink it quite a bit when we first got it because I was kind of enjoyed it, but um, that's got an, yeah, but I've gotten a lot of other flavors after that one that I prefer more. So yeah, top of A for now. Yeah. Now we got grape. grape. I think it's a very mid flavor in my opinion. Grenada grape. Yeah, grenade grape. So I'll put it at the bottom of C tier. I'll probably agree with that. I like it more than Misfits and I like it more than uh, the Citrus Lemonade. I'd probably go for Akai Blueberry more. Good, we agree. Yeah. Now we have Lemon Limeade. Or lemon, yeah, lime, lemon Limeade. Yeah. And uh, yeah, in my opinion, this one has a pretty mild flavor, but yeah, it's, it's quite on, refreshing. It, yeah, it's sort of on the same scale as Citrus Lemonade, but I would say at the top of D tier, maybe bottom C tier, because I, I, I enjoy I, lime more than lemon. I'd probably put it at bottom of C tier. Yeah, let's put it at bottom C tier. I don't drink it that often, I should though. Uh, I mixed it with that one with the new lemonade. Quite a good flavor, especially if you like lime, like I do. All right, so now we have lychee or whatever, however lychee, you call uh, it. This one goes straight to F. Yeah, I think it's, I think it's slightly about white candy, just like it doesn't have like a bad taste and it doesn't have a good taste. It's just like, why would you drink this? I, I'm willing to bet that even gamers up thinks themselves that that's not a pog flavor because I, I can't see that one selling very well. It's a very niche flavor and it's a ver got a very f like tastes a bit like a flower almost it's or a, perfume. Or yeah, something. if you enjoy if you if you are a tea drinker, like straight up tea drinker, you'll probably enjoy that one because it's got a very tea herby like aftertaste. Up next, we have peach iced tea. Yeah, speak of the devil. So this one, if you saw my video where I went through the ringer with all the games of flavors and putting everyone against each other, this one came out on top and it's my absolute, one of my favorite flavors. And I would put it at top of C tier. Hello, S -tier. <laughs> top of S tier, top of S tier. You're not so, getting it. What's my opinion on this flavor? We recently got the 100 servings version of this one, I believe. I checked the warehouse and I believe I saw that one. I will put this one in S tier. You will. <laughs> so dramatic. Yeah, I really like the peach flavor. It has that, it doesn't have like a really strong tea flavor. It has more like a sweet candy peach flavor. That's why opinion. I think it's so weird because I think that one has more of a tea flavor than the Cow's Guilty one. But you don't like Cow's Guilty one. I don't see like, in my opinion, iced tea doesn't really taste like tea. No, no, if you tried original iced tea, it's not as good as like the sugary variant that we're used to, especially if you had a shadow like mine that drank iced tea all the day. <laughs> diabetes. Diabetes, it's weird that I should have gotten a diabetes. <laughs> All but yeah, day. that's like one of my go-to flavors. I, mean, yeah. I would probably grab one of those 100 servings for myself, not gonna <laughs> lie. But yeah, now we have sour apple, which shouldn't be called sour apple because it's not fucking sour it's at all. It's not sour at all. It's no. just like green apple candy without yeah. the sour. And in my opinion, it, this one, even, it, yeah. even though it's not sour, it's underrated because I don't see anyone talk about it. Yeah, it's definitely B tier, like top B tier. 
I would probably put a middle of B tier just because it's like where like here. Yeah, like off the off the strawberry daiquiri at least. I would put it above strawberry daiquiri, but I can put it there. I'm hoping that they will revamp the flavor and make it more sour. I would really enjoy that, and I bet a lot of other people would enjoy that because there's like sour flavored drinks is very popular. Let's move on to strawberry lemonade. Now this one, I think we you both me can agree is an S tier. S tier. Yeah, you enjoyed it, right? I don't actually remember. Let's mix some. <laughs> oh yeah. Okay, this is surprisingly sour for a game of flavor. Yeah. I find that this one tastes like strawberry daiquiri, but with some citrus added to it. Which I think adds to the overall flavor. So to me... I would put it like either top of A or bottom of S tier. We'll put it at the bottom of S tier. Get straight on, brother! So, there we go. Now we have... Is that strawberry. Is that strawberry? Yeah. yeah. So, strawberry is a... Like, we can just put it there. Of the two... Of the three, like, main strawberry flavors, which is emotional damage and strawberry daiquiri, it's the worst one. I would probably put this one more towards there, like to the middle. Damn, all right, yeah. You know what, fine, yeah. So yeah, it's it's just a regular old strawberry flavor. And if you enjoy strawberry and very sweet flavors, you'll probably enjoy that one quite a bit. I can't say it's bad or tastes weird. It's got a strong flavor and you know what you get. Yeah, I could almost put it at C tier. I, I would probably pick a lot of these flavors over that one. Well, we can move it down to S tier also. Yeah, like, definitely you, know, you pick that one over that, uh, over that one, so yeah. I, I don't have any strong feelings towards this flavor, it's like mid. Yeah, C tier. Watermelon Ice, this one I find is almost in the same boat as Sour Apple. It's pretty underrated. Yeah, it's if... very underrated actually. And I got another opinion about it. I, when I first tried it, I think it was pretty mid. Then I tried it again and I quite enjoyed it yeah. actually. So I'm gonna put it at like lower A. Lower A, yeah, here. Because it's like, it's the definition of underrated in my opinion. Yeah, it's a very underrated flavor. So if you, like get your hands on it, if you can get your hands on it, I highly recommend that you do. And if you tried it a long while back and you just and your memory of it is pretty vague, try it again. I, I think you you come to regret your past decision actually. It's if good. you like watermelon flavors. If you like watermelon flavors, because it's got a slightly sour taste to it as well. And I enjoy like sour watermelon flavors. It's a very nice flavor in my opinion. So yeah. yeah. Now here we go. Blow hole blast. The most sold flavor on our site, uh, and I think it's one of Gamers Up's most sold flavors. Yeah, I think it's, it's the most sold flavor at yeah. Gamers Up. Got the coconut, we got the passion fruit, we got the mango, and we got the lime. That's a lot of flavors, and uh, the more flavors you add to it, I think really adds to the flavor. And I think all, all the flavors added to it really add something as well. And also, this was the tub that had glow in the dark and Shy Lily herself right there on the tub. So if you were a fan of her. <laughs> It really made it more obvious for you to get this sort of flavor as well. <laughs> <laughs> it's a really nice artwork on the top. The flavor is pretty great. And I would say overall this one is top of A or like middle, maybe middle of S tier. Yeah. Like yeah. I would say it's above strawberry lemonade, but it's lower than peach. Yeah, it's definitely lower than peach. So I would put it sort of here, I think. If you don't like coconut, I can't see that you would enjoy that flavor. It's very coconut heavy in my opinion. And as I did say, it's a better version of pina colada, mainly for me because of the passion fruit and the lime. I wouldn't say it's as beginner friendly as guacamole game of art. All flavors on A and S tour is more beginner friendly, but this one, if you really like coconut and tropical fruits together, it's gonna probably beat like most of the flavors. Yeah, and me and Alex enjoy coconut quite a lot, so yeah, yeah. it makes sense for it to be there. Up next we have Anime Girthite. This is supposed to be like orange creamsicle, uh, orange uh, ice cream, like milk ice cream. I actually uh, gave this to my sister so she could try some, and she really liked this one. She liked it more than some others. Just speaks to the flavor being like pretty beginner friendly. I like orange cream skull, so I would probably give this one around B or A because you can get bored of it pretty easily. Yeah. But There's... it works really good with milk. Yeah, and that's the thing. I said in my review that you get a different flavor in, considering what 
like drink you use. If you use milk, you get more of the vanilla-ish flavor to it. If you use water, you get more of an orange flavor to it. So you can mix and match. You can like pick 50% water and 50% milk yeah. if you want to get some sort of hybrid there, perhaps. I haven't tried it. But overall, orange is very underused by gamer subs. I think they should add it more. I'd but, probably uh, say like it's around a B tier. I would say it's a B tier. I would probably put it like here. Yeah. I agree because you can get bored of it pretty easily if you drink too much but it's really good with milk and it has a solid orange flavor so yeah, yeah. it's got one of the it's got <laughs> english it's got one of the more unique flavors of out of the most of the game yeah. stuff out there and i'll give it that but yeah and also nice art design <laughs> red raspberry the, la the next one it's cr incredibly mid yeah it's like the definition of mid it's not bad it's not great it's like a um, lemonade almost so I'd, I'd probably give this one a little bit more praise than top of D. I'd probably give this one middle of C. Bottom of C. I can't put it above yeah. some of that. Uh, it's like, around those parts. To me, it's, it tastes so watered down. It's like they missed out on a lot of the sweetness. I expect it to taste uh, super sweet or like be almost on the same page as like these two, like blueberry and uh, dragon fruit, or perhaps like raspberry. I don't really see how the taste difference can be that much yeah. between those two, but there's a huge difference. And I think that one, even when you mix it correctly or even use less water, tastes a bit watered down in my opinion. So yeah, it's not bad, it's not great. Yeah. Just like middle man. Yeah, it's very mid. Uh, so now we have brand risk, which is mango and peach. Uh, I think it tastes better than emotional damage. Yeah. I've heard it's supposed to be mango and or peach because the flavoring of mango and peach is very similar so they couldn't decide which one to give it to so they just like said both. Yeah, <laughs> let's just say both. So yeah, I would probably give this one B because um, sometimes you feel the mango, sometimes you feel the peach. It depends on perhaps your mindset while drinking the flavor. Yeah, so B for boobs. Yeah. Uh, next one, we have a Stephen Heath flavor. Yeah, which we haven't tried. Yeah. This one was like super limited. I think it was ginormo lemonade or something. It, it basically just appeared and then disappeared. Yeah, and I think it was raspberry lemonade they were supposed to taste like. So I'm very, pretty sad that we didn't get to try that one out. Maybe, maybe it will come back in a later iteration. Maybe one day. Next up, we have lemonade, the new and improved citrus lemonade. Yeah, because as we said before, the citrus lemonade one is discontinued and the lemonade one took over. And I would say it improved on citrus lemonade by all accounts. And I would say that's like on top of... I would say on top of B tier. Yeah, top of B tier, honestly. Like, also, this is a good mixer. If you mix one scoop of lemonade with almost any of the other flavors to get a completely new and improved flavor. So yeah. yeah, it's a good mix. And just for that alone, it would be at the top of B. Maybe even, you know what, <laughs> put it here. Yeah, yeah. I, I agree, honestly, like yeah. it's one of the most surprising flavors in my opinion. Yeah, if you haven't tried it out yet, do it, please. Uh, it's <laughs> heavily improved on on the later on the earlier flavor. So yeah, now we have white grapefruit, yeah. easily forgotten flavor. <laughs> I would say like top of F tier, like maybe bottom of D tier. It's bottom of D tier. Like I don't have a problem with grapefruit flavored drinks. I just don't think that was a good one. It's very heavy on bitterness and very low on the sweetness and sourness. So it tastes main mostly bitter. I don't. Think I think they good. discontinued it after the fir first batch. Yeah. So yeah, that. That speaks like I like the design of, with the white, that was pretty unique in overall. You got but... like this Finnish design. Hey, Finland, Suomi Perkele. Now we have JFJ brand snake oil. snake oil. Yeah, this one is very unique actually. It's supposed to taste like apple pie, uh, which it does pretty much. And you, if you mix it with milk, you get more of this baked goods type of aftertaste. If you use it with more water, you get more of a like the apple flavor, soda. But yeah, this one tastes almost like, uh, if you have protein powder, this is supposed to taste like apple pie. It almost tastes like that. In my opinion, it's really good, like the first time to try it, and it tastes even better with milk. But I would say it's probably around a detail also, like perhaps. Yeah, yeah the, the flavor is too unique and like odd for me to drink it more than 
couple of times per year. So yeah, yeah I would say I'd, I'll put it at the top of D tier for now. It's not a bad flavor. It's just not a flavor I would pick above almost any of the other Gamer Subs flavor. Now we got Jujutsu Kaisen. Discontinued. Uh, I watched the latest season, enjoyed the show very much. This flavor is very good and it's, this one is... Raspberry tea. Raspberry iced tea. Raspberry iced tea. With two flavors I enjoy very much and I think this one is an S tier. S tier. Or, or high A tier at the least. I'd probably give this one perhaps like a B tier. So I think like at the lower parts of A, like middle of A or something. It's pretty good. Put it there. So yeah, yeah, but I'm quite sad that they discontinued it. I hope they, that they will bring it back just with another name and another... It's just US exclusive right now. Yeah, it's just US America. exclusive. So hopefully they will make it more available to the Europeans, you know. Next we have Kahoo's Bloody Orange. Yeah, they were, they were going to discontinue the uh, Guilty one. I, I'd probably say like... Uh, Here. It's... It, no, it's like bottom of C tier. Yeah, it's above that one. Yeah. Definitely. So yeah, it's got good. It's supposed to taste like blood orange. So it's very, it's very bitter and slightly, slightly sour and not as super sweet. So if you enjoy those, it's not as bitter as white grapefruit one. Yeah. But, so it's a bit better than that one, but it's still good. And I like the design as well. Next up, we have Age Trade Trees Sigma Brain. Spicy lemonade. So the lemonade- Limeade. Li no lemonade. No lemonade. No lemonade. Limeade. It's that, okay, but it's basically, it's basically the lemonade flavor. It tastes exactly like the lemonade flavor, which we gave A tier, but it has the spiciness to it. Spiciness takes away from the flavor. It makes you, you don't want to drink it as often, in my opinion. I, I would give it like high B tier. High B tier? Yeah, because it tastes like lemonade. It, it doesn't have a bad taste. It's just like pretty odd with the spicy, but it has like some cool things. I would like put it below limeade. No, I'll give it. Give it it's, it's top of C tier. Top C tier. It it's has good, a really it's, good It's unique, taste. but uh, not something that you can drink a lot of because you do, after a while, the, the, the spiciness adds up and accumulates in your throat, in my opinion. Now we have Grandpa's Ashes, and this is one that I wanted to talk about because it tastes exactly the same as titty milk. So we'll just put it with the other raspberry flavored okay. ones. Yeah. The, the name alone makes it uh, the top one of those three, in my opinion. Yeah. So, yeah. so here we have one of the latest flavors. We have sweet six pack. This one is cherry pineapple. And this one is fresh in mind because I just did a review of it today. So yeah, this one is cherry and pineapple. And as I said in the video, I'm not a fan of cherry as we've talked about in this video, but the uh, pineapple really adds something to it. So I would say it's on equal part to the cherry uh, limes, the cherry lime sickle, in my opinion. In my opinion, it's worse than black cherry, but I find... You know what, this is the, one of the few times I could put a cherry flavored yeah. thing below there, so I just put it there. Yeah, <laughs> I, I find that black cherry is a little bit better and cherry limes got beats them both. Yeah, I would say that it's above black cherry. Yeah, I, I can give it to you, like, yeah. they're on like... So top of B. Here we have lean sleep. This drink. one is an ace tier for me. I think it's the, it combines two of my favorite flavors, which is lemonade and iced tea. Yeah, I would probably give this one above peach iced tea, the regular version, just because like I like the slight lemonade flavor it has. I actually would put it at the top of S tier, even Damn. though yeah, even though I enjoy guacamole game of art, I think it's time for a new king. I'd probably and Joe Biden is the president <laughs> to do it. <laughs> Sleepy Joe, I'd probably. Personally, say guacamole game of fortis a little bit better, but they're both really, really good. And I would shared first place. Yeah, like it's a shared first place. It depends on what you're into, like for that day or like. Yeah, but the artwork alone should make it S tier. So we almost forgot. Uh, we noticed that two flavors were missing from this list. Good, I we got there. It was Arctic Cooler and Soda Press Despair. So we added both those. So we're just gonna quickly go through those as well. So Arctic Cooler. It's a combination of uh, lime aid, le lemonade limeade, lemon limeade, that's the name of it, yes, and lemonade, yeah, in my opinion. So it's a combination of those two, because yeah. it's supposed to taste like lime and what's the name of the, the one other citrus fruit that I, clementine or something. Yeah. Mandarin, mandarin. This is definitely a flavor that is more suited like towards your flavor profile. Yeah, I'm, I'm more into citrus fruits and that sort of bittersweet flavor. It's better than both lemonade and limeade because it contains both. I think that I would put this one maybe middle of B, maybe high C. 
but uh, somewhere around those parts. So perhaps like lower A if we like split the split it. I can put it there. Yeah, yeah. I think that's fine. Like I would personally put it like lower, but uh, we have to do some compromises. So top of B. Next up, we have soda press the sphere. <laughs> Now we got soda press, which I think came before lean. This one tasted straight up like pear, which was a completely new flavor for gamer subs. And me and Alex both uh, have talked about this where we did other fla pear flavors that it's not a flavor that you see often. And we both enjoyed all of the pear flavors that we tried, which, it, which, it, which isn't that many, to be fair. This one, I think it's pretty similar to Guacamole Gamer Fart. Like, the most similar one amongst all the other Game of Thrones flavors. It doesn't have the sourness, it doesn't have the combination of the strawberry and lime, which really like, I can't put it like at the same spot as Guacamole Game of Thrones because of those reasons. But I would say it's definitely an A tier. Yeah, I think I would put it like... I would probably put it at the top of A tier because to me the flavor is very new. Top of A tier. It's not a. It's not a very complicated flavor. It's a very no, but it's not a complicated flavor. It's a good flavor. I would personally. I think it comes into the same realm as like brand risk and those. It's like non-offensive. It's it's almost like pure lemonade. It's very. It's almost like pure juice. Just me personally, bit. I would put, probably put it at the bottom of A tier. Uh, let's put it like uh, by Arctic cooler. Because then, yes. if I want it here, you want it I would, here. I would put it here. All right, let's put it here. Yeah. So, yeah, almost at the end of uh, start of B there. So, yeah, that were the two last flavors. Pretty happy with this list. We had some differences, like some flavors I really like, some flavors Felix doesn't like, and vice versa. We've had our differences, but at the end, we <laughs> came out on top. Taking account our thoughts or each individual thoughts regarding each flavor and pick one you maybe want to try next. Some of these we have samples for also. So check the link below and perhaps grab one of these Gamers of flavors. When we got them in stock. <laughs> check out our Discord for restock announcements. We even have a channel there which you can get notifications the second the restock lands. So yeah guys, this was the Gamer Subs, the updated Gamer Subs tier list by yours truly. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, and press the bell notification button. No, to... smash that subscribe button. Hit that notification button. Yeah, sorry. So let's do this one more time. Smash the motherfucking like button, press the like button, and press the like button, and press the like button. Pre or Gamer bulk out. out.